Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll begin our lesson with problem number 74. As you can see, the problem is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We are told the same was S years old X years ago. He was S years old X years ago. And again, as always, if it makes it easier for you to, to analyze it, to understand it with numbers first, then put in the numbers first so that you can, you can visualize it. So let's pretend that uh, Sam was uh, 10 years old 3 years ago. If he was 10 years old 3 years ago, we already know now that today he must be 13 years old. Well, if he was 10 years old 3 years ago, well, he must be 13 today. How do we get 13? 10 plus 3. So, that tells us, the question simply is how old will he be from y years from now? We're looking for how old will be y years from now. But now we know his current age. His current age, his current age must be, well, if he, if he was 10 years, 10 years old 3 years ago, he is 13 years old, which is 10 plus 3. His current age is simply s plus x. Question is, how old will be, how old will he be 7 years from now? Well, 7 years from now, he'll be 20 years old. How do we find 20 years? Well, he's 13 years today, 7 years from now will be 20 years. We simply add the y to the, to the sum of the s and the x. That's all. y years from now, y years from now, he will be, he will be simply s plus x plus y. That's all. s plus x is the current age, y years from now, you simply add up the y to it. Let's do the next one. Number 75, we are told that n years ago, n years ago, Mike was t times, t times as old as, t times as old as David, who was D years old then. So we are told that n years ago, n years ago, David was D years old. David's age was D years. So again, put in something if you like. Three years ago, David was 10 years old. All right. And at that point, it just so happened that Michael was three times as old as David. Put in something for T if you like. How about five? I'm just making up numbers as we go along. What is the question asking? The question simply is. How old is he now? How old? How old is Mike now? How old is Mike now? Let's find out, shall we? So if you're gonna pretend, if you're gonna pretend that David was 10 years old three years ago, listen carefully, if you're gonna pretend that David was 10 years old three years ago, then today he must be 13. Today he must be 13. And we are told, let's, let's see, n years ago, Mike was, n years ago, let's, just, let's start our process with the fact that, we start our process with the fact that the story begins with n years ago. Let's do it on the top. Because I'm, I'm jumping ahead of myself, I was trying to figure out the answer to the question that they're asking without actually solving it algebraically first. Let's first solve it algebraically, then we'll do it arithmetically, and then we'll see if our ma answer matches or not. Do you understand? The arithmetic work that we, that, I, that we showed here is not something you should do right from the beginning. Arithmetic work is what you do at the end to check your answer, to make sure that the algebraic answer that you're getting is in fact the right answer. By plugging in numbers, doing the work pro problem again one more time arithmetically, and making sure that the answer that you get arithmetically is the same answer that you will obtain when you plug in the same value for the variables in the algebraic answer that you got. Do you understand? So let's begin our story n years ago. n years ago. And what is our unknown? The unknown is how old is Mike now? How old is our Mike now? We need to define this thing with a variable. So here's our, here's the solution begins from here. Here's our solution it begins here. The very first thing we have to do, very first thing we have to do is to define the variable. Let, let m be Mike's 
current age. So it's a good idea to actually spell it out, write it out, so we know what M represents. We're going to use letter M to represent Mike's age today, current age. So N years ago, if he's M years old today, if he's M years old today, let's say if he's 3 years old today, then one year ago he must be 2 years old. If he's 50 years old today, then 20 years ago he must be 30 years old, which means the age n years ago is simply m minus n. So Mike's current age, my current, my current age we are pretending is m, therefore n years ago Mike was m minus n. That, it was, that was his age n years ago. And what do we know at that point? At that point we know, it tells us, that n years ago he happened to be t times as old as David. And David was d years old. David was d years old. It says here, as old as David, who was d years old then. So David was d years old then, because see, this is the story n years ago. David was d years old then, and Mike at that time was t times that value. There you go. That's it. All we have to do now is solve this thing, solve this equation for m, and we'll have our unknown. The unknown was how old is Michael now, which we use letter m to represent. We solve for m, and we'll have our answer. M equals T times D plus N. Now, now we do what I was about to do from the very beginning, what I did from the very beginning, which, I, which we should not have done, is to plug in numbers. So we already have our numbers. Let's pretend, let's pretend that three years ago, I don't know if you can read this anymore, we had plugged in three here. We had plugged in three for N. Let's pretend that three years ago, Michael was five times as old as David, who happened to be 10 years old. Listen very carefully. If David was, listen very carefully as I said one more time, if, if we're going to pretend that David was 10 years old three years ago, if David was 10 years old three years ago, then David must be 13 years old today. David must be 13 years old today. But here's the story. If David was 10 years old, we're pretending that at that time, we're pretending that at that time, Michael was five times as old as David. You with me? If David was 10 years old three years ago, then at that time, the problem tells us that at that point, Michael happened to be five times as old as David, which means Michael's age three years ago was 50 years old. Michael was, Michael was, Michael was 50 three years ago, three years ago. We're not interested in his age three years ago, we're interested in his age today. Well, if he was 50 years ago, 50 years old three years ago, he must be 53 today. Let's see if this thing gives us 53. This thing, let's see if this thing gives us 53. Let's plug in values for it. T is 5. D is 10. 5 times 10 is 50, plus the N, which is 3. Voila. It turns out that Michael is indeed 53 years old today. Michael is indeed 53 years old today because three years ago he was five times as old as David. And at that point, three years ago that is, David was 10 years old. Because David was 10 years old three years ago. And at that point, Michael was five times as old. That means Michael was 50 years old three years ago. Well, he must be 53 today. Which is exactly what our answer gives us. That answer is correct. That answer is correct. Let's do the next one, shall we? Number 76. Number 76. These are all, these are all straightforward and easy, very easy. Yes, these qualify, these problem qualify as very easy, or, uh, very easy algebra word problems. Once we hit a marker of 100, right now we are at 76. Right now we are at 76. Next one we're going to do is 76. Once we hit the marker of 100, then we'll begin our medium problems. And then once we have mastered how to solve the medium problem, then and only then we'll be ready for, for some very difficult algebra word problems. But these are very straightforward, easy problems. The point I'm trying to make you here is that if you do not have a sound foundation, if you do not learn properly how to solve algebra word from the from the very beginning, from the easy problems, you'll have a hell of a time when we get in the medium and the hard problems. Do you understand? 
That's why we are doing this practice. Number 76. Number 76. We are told that A is twice as old as B. And we are told that B is thrice as old as C. And thrice, if you recall, is the word that we learned in our vocabulary lessons. Long time ago, we learned in our vocabulary lessons on day number 63. On day number 63, in our vocabulary lesson, we learned that thrice is a very fancy way of saying three times as much. So A, we are told, is twice as old as B, and B, in, in, in turn, is thrice as old as C. The question simply is, and we are told that C it happens to be N years old. N years old. Question simply is, how old is A? How old is A? Let's find out, shall we? We are told that A is twice as old as B. Let's, let's begin our story with C, why not? Where should we start our story? Let's start our story with C. We know C is N years old. C is N years old. And we also know and we also know that B is thrice thrice as old as C. So that implies that in turn implies that B must be must be three times N years old. B must be three times as N years N years old because we are told that B is thrice as old as C. Well, if B is three times N years old, then that in turn implies that A must be, A must be, because we are told that A is twice as old as B. Here's the value of B. B is three times N, so A must be two times, three times N years old. That's it. We found it. A's age is six times N years old. How old is A? The answer is A is, A is, A is six times N years old. That's all. That's the age of A. Now they may not ask a question like that in the exam. In the exam they might ask you what is the sum of their ages? If they ask you what is the sum of their ages? It's very simple. The sum of their ages is going to be equal to C's age which we are told is N years old B's age, which is 3 times n, and A's age, which we found is 6 times n. So the sum of their ages is going to be 10 times n. Depending on how the question is asking, uh, question is being asked, of course you have to answer accordingly. I know.